collection, two works by Margaret Preston, one Banksias from, 19, from 1955, and Lot One, which is Flowers and Jug, circa 1929, which carries an estimate of nine to $12,000. It is a beautiful print. The painting Banksia for 1955 is very typical of Margaret Preston. By this stage, she was considered to be one of the greatest living Australian painters who had pursued a very dedicated course towards working uh, with the Australian landscape and indeed doing still life paintings. Preston's still life paintings are not pretty in any conventional sense. They are very much concerned with individual items within the composition. Yes, certainly items are collected and brought into the studio to be painted, but the point we feel through time is more how these elements would cohere into a composition, what fidelity she could bring to each of the, you know, uh, flora within, you know, the composition. This composition has a rather, you know, dark palette. We could think of someone like Braque, perhaps, with darker outlines. It is, in its sombre light, a very serious and considered composition. It sits beautifully in pretty much the middle of the frame and does what is necessary to speak through the composition for Preston, to say the things that she considers necessary, and to summarise where she is at this point in her painting career. Margaret Ollie occupied a particular place within contemporary Australian art. She had the accolade of being one of Australia's greatest living painters, and that it is an achievement considering her predominant output for the last 30 years of her life was still life painting. Margaret Ollie is a hugely well regarded artist and anyone who had the privilege of visiting her or knowing her or going to the Paddington home would have been drawn into Ollie's world. Ollie was a recondite person with very strong opinions. She was a great champion of other Australian artists. She would pursue their work, she would buy it, she would promote it, she would donate it to public galleries. This painting is a very good example of the kind of art that she was doing throughout the 80s. It really has a lot to do with what we might think of as Renaissance perspective and indeed ledge painting itself. If you were to look into the composition, you can see single point perspective at play and also the convergence of diagonals throughout the picture. There is this particular cross effect. It is so simple as to not be seen. It is something that Margaret Ollie employed again and again. It wasn't a trademark. It was just inherent in her painting. What is perhaps more trademark about this picture is the beautiful light through the composition, the way she balances the yellows against the darker areas. I would recommend this painting to you wholly. Thank you.